But you know that does not matter how much you explain, sometimes customers are just not going to get it. They're not going to get it. If you go to a big box store and you buy a t-shirt, a, a screen printed t-shirt, did you know that screen printed t-shirt could last you a lifetime when it's well printed and the shirt is a good shirt for only $20. There's not a lot of items in the world that um, will last you a lifetime just for $20. Maybe, probably a few, but no. So when a customer comes to you and starts asking about the shirt, does it, does it wear off, does it fade off? and you tell them, no, this is screen printed, you know, I'm using um, water-based ink or plastisol ink. Um, no matter how much you explain, they're not gonna get it. They, they, they think they buying this shirt that they bought in Target or Walmart, um, sublimation shirts, DTG, DTF, all that. It's gonna last a long time, but it's not gonna last a lifetime like when it comes to a printed shirt. So don't waste your time trying to explain to the clients the difference between what they buy in these places and screen printed t-shirts. Don't explain, just tell them this shirt is gonna last, is gonna last you a lifetime. It's printed differently than any other shirt you have gotten. I had somebody on the comments asking me a question of how you take out the background on an image, especially a photo, how you take that out. And the job I just did with the car, you know, the La 27th Street, well, this is the picture that I, that the person gave me, this is his car. And I had to take this background out, you see? So what you do, when was to where the magic one is, but go um, quick selection tool, and you're just gonna come and spread, spread it all around the car. You see how quick? Make sure you get everything. You're gonna get some things that are not the car, but you're just trying to get most of it. That's the way I do it. Very easy, quick. Make sure you get the engine get everything there and everything is already nice and highlighted highlighted the whole car then come and just um cut and once you cut there it is there goes the car right there now all i do was work a little bit you gotta work and just use the eraser tool and just start um erasing you see that the eraser is small come up here and just bring it higher. Make sure you press the one that's completely and then you just come and start, make sure that you erase the whole thing. The part that is not the car. That's how easy you could do it. So now you gotta filter, filter gallery. Make sure you get to see the car and you're gonna go to photocopy, you're gonna see that. You see that, does that mean all you gotta do is go over here, go to the details, bring it up so you can start seeing the car and how dark it is, bring it all the way. Bring it all the way up. And now you start having the car right there. Now you see the whole thing. It's gonna go on a black shirt, so it's perfect, ready to put on a film. But that's how you separate the background and um, get it like this. Then I came and just put the red, you see the red? Just came back to the car and just uh, used the magic wand and just highlighted the red part here, the seat, the, the engine. And then you come and you get that. Now it has that. And then I came with the words, put it up there, La 27th Street. And just separate the colors just like I did with the red, remember the green and yellow together, and there was the image. That's how you do it, you separate the background. I know there's other tools that you could just 
get the whole car without doing all that work but i do that just to get more practice on my on you know more being more accurate with my tool especially my mouse that sometimes my hand is just like i said i can't even draw a perfect circle but that's how you separate the background of a picture to separate if it's a person it's easier because it's going to select the person much much faster but with a car i don't think it's gonna work um looking for the object when you start this business you're so excited you are you got your new press you you got your ink your squeegees your first order you're ex you have this energy you're excited but the thing that really eats some of that excitement away from you it's not the frustration of learning something or learning how to print or registering you got nothing to do also you have to go through that that's that's part of learning but the one that really takes people's um energy you know makes you like oh regret sometimes you even started this business it's customers you know you got these terrible customers that will come to you and they'll try to um pull pull one on you you know like if he had an issue because he took an order person saw the order he took pictures she's she liked the shirts and she left with the shirts then a day later comes back and says she didn't want the shirts and she did a chargeback somebody that will that that's that's paying with a credit card or paypal and then they'll take that money back and you don't get it you lost that money and if you go fight it and you show them the emails that she approved the logo that she um took the shirts she came and saw the shirts she counted the shirts and everything he's still lost he still end up losing that money and she took it and the thing is that even that he tried to give a discount she goes to him she didn't come back she went somewhere else now is that something that really happened like the shirts didn't fit or the print was not good or it was just that maybe the, um she went that day and didn't sell anything or couldn't nothing was happening and she just stopped and went and tried to give the shirts back to get the money back that's why i don't mess around with credit cards or paypal um i try to do zelle get that money out real quick but mostly you know let's send send it right to my bank because paypal is a middleman so they're just gonna come and if you do a chargeback it's gonna be an issue i never went through that i don't really understand how that chargeback gonna go but i've been hearing that a lot about people doing these things and taking the money back and you look and when you go fight it you lose you lose the other one that he had issues with people bringing shirts to him i have thing i mentioned this before about bringing sh when people bring shirts you have to be very careful because a lot of these shirts are not for they're not gonna be made for screen printing this is cotton you, you, yeah, it's, it's a shirt it, it should but the problem is that some of these shirts that they buy are so cheap that's why they bring you the shirts they're not even pre-shrunk so if you take it and you don't pass each of them through the conveyor dryer so they could really get pre-shrunk before you print on them you're just gonna start printing on them now and every time they go to the flash there's gonna be some millimeters three millimeters off from registration maybe just a little off some will see you see some shirts oh it's working it's good but then some shirts they shrank a little too much and they got some misprints 
And no matter when you try to align for that shirt, you don't know if the other shirt is gonna not shrink or shrink. It just, it, it's gonna happen. So he gave those shirts, they picked the others. He told me it was about 50 shirts and she brought the shirts back and said that you have a lot of misprints, the registration is off and she didn't want it. And again, wanted the money back, wanted the money back. That frustrates you as a screen printer when you're working by yourself and you're just putting all that time in, you're investing in these shirts and she only had paid half. She only left a half deposit. That's why I don't like doing the half deposits. But she only paid half down and then she wanted the other half. And he had issues. She came and started arguing, came with her husband and it, it was not a pretty sight. He gave the money back just to avoid the problem. And the same thing happened to one of my friends with the um, printed on the back. I think I mentioned that one. That was scary. That was that one. He, the guy gave him was supposed to be all the cities on the back and some names, cities and names of people. And he gave him that and he took it. He just copy pasted it and printed on the film and that was it he came it was about I, I think it was like 200 shirts and beautiful print on the front but the back there were some names that were misspelled it was not the uh, my friend's fault it was the client because he gave him that he said I just copy and paste he's like no you should have checked you should have seen there were some cities that it was not correct and he didn't get to do that. The guy goes, I'm not gonna give you the money back. And they already used the shirts. He was not gonna bring the shirts back. I was like, what? But yeah, he just said no. And guys here from the Bronx, these people from the streets, man, they came here and they wanted to beat his ass down and they started um, threatening him on Instagram, talking bad about him on Instagram. He's a, he's not a great printer. He don't know how to print. The shirts came out horrible. And then he threatened by if I once I go over there, if I see you, I'm gonna because I want that money back. And at the end, he had to give him the money back just because he felt his life was threatened. Things like that will get you really like discouraged it just takes away your excitement from sprinting because terrible customers that you're gonna bump into them and you have to try to see it you have to try to read customers and read if they if they are gonna give you problems and if they are gonna give you problems try to not do the job or tell them right now I'm too busy I won't be able to get it done on time you know give them a story bring up the price a little more do something or they don't have I don't have those colors right now right now I'm a little tight or I, I can't I won't be able to do it I'm going on vacation for about two weeks but you got to learn how to read these customers because you're gonna get a lot of these terrible customers because terrible customers are a fact of life when it comes to screen print you're gonna get them and you have these picky little customers and you got customers that are gonna come and gonna give you these shenanigans where they just gonna come and give you something like one of them <laughs> told me they, they brought these shirts and they they, he could tell that they've been worn, you know, they, they, they've been using the shirts. He just wanted to print this, like, I don't know how much it was. But if you notice, if you have a shirt that has already been used and you put it through the conveyor dryer, that smell, that 
it's gonna stink you know that shirt was not even washed was that it was used and real quick they bring you these shirts to them so when the he went through a convey dry he came to pick him up he was complaining what is that smell and I, the, the, the guy <laughs> he, he, he tells him that's your smell that's the shirts you came here. That's your smell, your sweat. And he was no, no. He didn't, and he didn't want to pay. He didn't want to pay, and he just um, left the shirts and left. He said, "I'm not paying for that. It stinks. The shirts stink." That's why you cannot be taking shirts from people, especially if you know that these shirts are been they already been worn. You know, they you don't even know if they've been washed or not. But oh man, let me tell you, customers, that's what takes out, and you just have to just read. You have to read them. You have to try to do your best with them. But no matter how hard you try to explain customers, a lot of them are just not going to get it, man. So if you like this video, press that like button. If you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe. Be thankful always. Be grateful always. And just let God take on the right. Peace out.